had this three water big fish 120 for a couple of weeks now um, I've noticed online some questions that people had so I'm going to go over some modifications and different things that I've done with this kayak to make it better for me and hopefully maybe help some people out and give you some ideas okay I'll start up here in the very front the first thing that I want to go over here in the very front we have these holes that are meant for your rod tips for your fishing poles well it's a good idea but they don't work for the poles I use I use poles that are usually around the seven foot range and when I put them on the reel sits right in this area and kind of right here and it kind of just gets in the way when you're paddling so what I've done is I have the stick it pole that I use for anchoring and when I'm transporting the kayak in the back of the truck I just put the tip of the stick it pole in there and then I just have this little bungee and I bungee it to the seat and it doesn't go anywhere it stays nice and stable and actually works out perfect and with the stick it pole when I'm out fishing I just leave it connected right here on the side where the paddles go and it stays up there nice and strong it doesn't fall off and it's out of the way even when I paddle from different spots it's not getting in my way alright when I'm fishing and I want to anchor down which I normally do all the time I just have this rope here that's just tied around that for now um, I have a little loop that the stick it pole slips through and this ropes about three and a half feet long I have one in the front and I have one that's on the back tied to that little eyelet there um, really you only need one maybe on the front or the back it doesn't matter both of them are long enough where they're accessible towards the center of the kayak so I don't have to walk all around or reach far to get it um, but like I said you only need one in the front or one in the rear I stand in this kayak all the time to fish I never sit down so I can anchor and then I can stand and rotate however I want fish whatever whatever angle I want to fish all right the uh, next thing I've made and done to this is I have this uh, PVC pipe it's three quarter inch and I painted it best I could to match the kayak and then I have a little GoPro mount that's uh, sticky taped to the top um, but anyways it's three quarter inch pipe it's about 24 inches long I have a three quarter inch coupling right there and then on top of that is just a, like a smooth top cap that the uh, GoPro mount sits on and then the same thing here I put a uh, three quarter inch coupling right there and then I had to wrap a little bit of tape around the base because the hole the scupper hole down here is kind of in between sizes so I wanted it to be a snug fit there we go for when this is in there um, the three quarter inch pipe is a little bit too small of a diameter for the hole and then one inch pipe is too big it won't go in at all so if you just wrap it once or twice with some duct tape it uh, actually works pretty good and actually looks good and it's out of the way hopefully I'll get some good views from it there I can still it's not tight enough to where you can't turn it so I can angle it whichever way I want so we'll see how these videos turn out next time I go out all right I noticed here in Florida it gets really hot out there and this deck that's in here this plastic it gets it gets really hot on your feet and not only that when you do have to kneel down on here if you're taking a fish off the hook or whatever all these little 
little bumps here and stuff they're, they're kind of rough on your knees and they hurt a little bit if you're in that position for a few minutes messing with a fish so what i have done is i went to walmart and i got a uh, a gray yoga mat for like eight dollars and i took the deck out laid it on top of the yoga mat trace it out with a sharpie marker cut it out and it fits perfect on top of that it slides around a little bit but I think what I'm gonna do I didn't want to glue it down or anything um, so I think I'm gonna get a few pieces maybe all four corners here here and the two corners back there maybe a stripper two up the side kind of on these smooth areas right little smooth areas right there maybe or something here where it's smooth and put a couple pieces of velcro and hopefully that'll make it stay a little bit better um, but this yoga mat makes a world of difference uh, it, it doesn't get hot when it gets wet it doesn't get slippery like I said it slides around just a little bit but it's not a big deal all right this is the reason I bought this kayak I was looking at this one and I was looking at the feel free 13 5 um, I went with this one just because it is a little bit shorter that foot and a half makes a pretty big difference in my garage where I store it uh, the 13 and a half would kind of get in the way of my wife's laundry shelf there and a little bit in the garage or the garage door right there so anyways but this is the reason I bought this kayak it is super stable this seat folds up out of the way and gives you all this deck space to stand up and do whatever I can pretty much stand all day in this thing and even walk up all the way to the front and the reason that it's so stable is because of this whole design um, I think they call it the cathedral hole design or whatever. But anyways, it's kind of like a catamaran style boat hole. And it's super stable. And I haven't had any issues at all with even coming close to flipping. Um, but yeah, this is the reason that I bought this. And also I noticed, I didn't notice it at first, but you got these little pockets here. That's where I keep my pliers and stuff like that when I'm fishing. Um, I did hear some questions that people had concerning the straps um, when you buy it these come this black strap and this one here they come tucked away in there and some people asked if they were for the roof well they're actually made to hold this seat and to keep the seat in this position and keep it from going all the way back but they're not they're not connected the way I liked them they had they were just out here on this outside and if you weren't careful they would just slide off of this so what i did i undid the buckle and i re-wrapped them around this between these two pieces that way they never slide off you can still lower the seat raise the seat no problem they don't get in the way and they don't fall off um, underneath the seat you have these Let me set this camera down You have these little straps right here. There's one here, and there's one here. And they're supposed to come around this way and hook back here to that eyelet. And that's supposed to keep the seat from going forward. Well, those bungees aren't very strong, and I sit on this or lean against it all day when I'm out on the water. If I'm sitting on top of it, it goes forward because the bungees aren't strong like i said i sit on top of here and i have my feet on here and i paddle around like that all day so what i did i got these uh, straps i had here in the garage and it's a cam buckle type strap i cut it short so i didn't have all this excess and i have it hooked up to that eyelet and to that eyelet on that side and i just run it around this part right here and cinch it down and you can see this thing isn't going anywhere it's it's on there it's tight 
if I had to balance, I could probably stand on this. Um, but like I said, this is my favorite feature of this kayak. And that's the reason I bought it. Because of that, and then because of that right there, all that floor space. All right, after I filmed the first section of this video about the yoga mat, I went ahead and got some Velcro. It's extreme outdoor Velcro, holds up to 15 pounds, and it's also a, uh, a gray color to match everything. And what I did, let me set this camera down. I put the the kind of rough side on the mat or on the deck and then on the yoga mat I put the fuzzy side and it peels off nice and easy I put one piece here a smaller piece there one right there one directly across and then one in the back corner and one in the other back corner. I used the smooth surfaces so it would stick a lot better than putting it on these rough surfaces here. All right, and the next thing that I like about this is all this rear deck space. There's tons of room for many different things. I just use a regular crate. I have this Bass Pro bucket I got for like 12 bucks or something and I use that I have a little bubble maker just connected to it and that's what I put my shrimp in my greenbacks pinfish anything that I'm using for live bait and right here on this part of the seat and that's where I just lay my tackle box it stays out of the way keeps this floor all clear um, tons of storage or I guess an open deck area up here on the front that's where I keep my fish bag if I decide I want to keep any any fish that I catch all right, and the last thing I would recommend, like I said, I do pretty much all of my fishing in the southern part of Tampa Bay, uh, out in the salt water on the grass flats. And when it gets windy, it's a little tough paddling. This rear end wants to swing around on me. Uh, so I'm getting ready to order the rudder system for this. And from what I hear, it's a must-have. Everybody says it's a world of difference when you get it put on. So, like I said, I'm getting ready to order that and get that on. And that should be about it. I don't really plan on doing much more to this. All right, the paddle that I got for this is the Carl Predator Angler Paddle. It's a, it's a fiberglass shaft, super comfortable, very light, and cost was right about $100 on Amazon. Um, I would recommend getting the 250 or the 260 centimeter paddle for this kayak since it is a 36 inch wide kayak. Anything under 250 is probably going to be a little bit too short to make it comfortable when you're paddling.